What's going on y'all? Today I'm going to show y'all how to mark spots on Google Earth and then transfer those spots onto your fish finders as waypoints. This is golden information and it will absolutely help y'all put more fish in your boats. But before we get into the video y'all, I got a bunch of videos that I'm getting ready to put out on everything from reading sonar, side scan, down scan, real vision, all kinds of fish finder hacks that are getting ready to drop. So if y'all are interested in seeing those, make sure you hit the subscribe button to get to see all that content. All right, y'all, so getting into it, the first thing you want to do is make sure that you download Google Earth Pro onto your desktop. In order to do that, just Google Google Earth and click right there. All right, when this page comes up, don't hit launch earth. You just want to scroll down till you see this pop up right here. Okay, Google Earth Pro on desktop. All you need to do is click on that and go through the download process and put that onto your desktop. So once you've downloaded Google Earth Pro, go ahead and open that up. Uh, once you open Google Earth, all you want to do is search for the, the lake or the body of water or whatever uh, you want to look around, scout, and map out areas. So for us today, we're going to look at Ono Island. So I'm going to click that in the search bar. And it's going to take me down to Ono Island. All right, so let's say I'm getting ready to fish Ono Island. We're looking around, we're scouting some areas. All right, let's say I want to focus on this area right here. Okay, uh, one of the first things I want to do is I want to create a folder off to my left uh, listed as Ono Island. You can see I got a lot of areas already kind of set up in here. So what I want to do right there on my places, go ahead and right click and then hit add a new folder. And we're going to label that Ono Island. All right, once you've created your folder for Ono Island or whatever area you want to fish, make sure that that's the only folder selected here. All right, so we got Ono Island selected. The next thing I want to do is just start scouting around for areas around Ono Island that I want to mark and I want to fish. So one area that I see right here, we have a nice little ditch coming off of this dock. So what I want to do is I want to drop a waypoint. I'm actually going to drop two waypoints here though. I'm going to drop one where it starts and one where it finishes. Okay, that way when I go on my fish finder later and I look and I see, okay, it's a ditch, I know that if it starts here and finishes here, that ditch must run that straight line between those pins. So as I come up and I want to fish that area and I'm approaching those pins, I can go ahead and start casting through this ditch. So we're going to go ahead in the upper left hand corner of your screen, click that yellow pin, go ahead and drag it, and right there. We're going to name it Ditch Start, and we're going to create another pin up here, just drag that, and we're going to mark that Ditch Finish. All right, so we've marked our ditch right here. Now we just want to move across scouting, looking for other areas. And as I'm coming through, I see a nice pocket of isolated grass right here. So let's go ahead and mark that. Drag my pen across it. And we're just going to hit on the name. Let's name it grass bed. And we'll go ahead and mark We'll go ahead and mark this one as well. Let's go ahead and mark this deep pocket that we got right here. That's definitely an area we might want to hit. Let's mark one more spot. 
let's mark that slope right there. We got a nice flat that's coming off through here and then it just gradually kind of slopes right here. But the thing about that is we got water that's maybe moving through here, maybe moving across here, and that looks like an excellent ambush point. So, so we got a couple of waypoints set. We got two grass beds. We got a nice ditch defined right there. There's a couple more nice ones here, but uh, we got us a deep pocket and then we got us a slope right there. So we have over here to the left, you'll look under Ono Island, we got all of these areas selected. All right, so now what we wanna do is right click on that Ono Island folder and we want to save place as. All right, so have it named right here, Ono Island. Now this is the important part. We want to save this file as a KML, not a KMZ has to be a KML y'all. Alright, so just change it to KML format and we're going to save it to our desktop under KMLs and hit save. Alright y'all, so we are done on Google Earth. We'll go ahead and close that out. Alright, so now we have our KML files and we have to convert the KML files over to GPX. All fish finders are going to read GPX format, so we have to convert KML over to GPX. It's a real simple process. All we're going to do is go into Google and type in KML to GPX converter. It's right there. And the site that we're going to use is any com.com um, it's one of the only ones that I found that actually works um, consistently at converting these files and I've never had any problems with this website so all we want to do is go over to convert KML to GPX right here all right so you see KML converter KML to GPX and we're going to choose our file, Ono Island KML, and convert. All right, so it has converted our file. We're just going to download it onto our computer. And we are through with this website. Go ahead and exit out of there. All right, so I have a folder on my desktop labeled GPX. And all I want to do is take that download and I'm going to drag it over to my GPS folder. All right, so we went on to Google Earth. We saved our waypoints as KMLs. We have now converted the KMLs into JPXs. So the last part of this puzzle is we have to take an SD card and save these GPX files onto our SD card go put them in a the fish finder and all of those waypoints are going to pop up. Now, when you're doing this, you cannot have an SD card over 32 gigs. So a 16 gig, a 32 gig will be fine. Uh, fish finders have a hard time reading or some of them won't read at all anything over 32 gigs. So we have a 16 gigabyte SD card that I use just for my fish finder. I'll go ahead and hook that up to my computer and uh, show y'all what we're gonna do. All right, so we're gonna go into our computer, open up our finder, find the SD card, open the SD card, and we're going to take our downloaded file that we just dragged into here, drag it, and drop it into a folder named as your location. So we're going to Ono Island, so I created a file named Ono Island, and bam. So the GPS files are now onto my SD card. We're gonna go ahead and go out to the fish finder. I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like after I put the SD card in there, import those files onto my fish finder and, uh, and what it looks like. All right, y'all, so we're out here at the fish finder. First thing we're going to do is go ahead and pull out my Navionics chip. And we are going to insert the SD card where we saved our GPX files. We're going to do that, making sure that our unit is powered off. Go ahead and power on your unit. All right, now not all units are the same. 
but just go into your settings and you should see an area that says import export waypoints so we're going to go into our settings and from there we're going to go all the way over where it says import export click on that and all we're going to do is import from card so it's read my sd card we're going to scroll down where it says ono island that's right so we got the gpx that just pulled up right there we're just going to click ok and boom import is complete so let's go ahead and see what that looks like we're going to go into the chart right there and you can see all those x's right there that are already popping up right there on ono island i'm going to zoom into them now so you notice i took my navionics chip out and we got a whole bunch of x's that looks like it's on land right so we're going to go ahead and turn our unit off put our navionics chip in there and i'm going to come back and show y'all what it looks like all right so we power our unit back up with navionics go ahead and zoom into it And right here, zoom out real quick, you can see on a while pops up with all the dots, everything on there. And you can see the X's that we've dropped in this area. So go ahead and zoom all the way in right there. If we click on that, boom, it pops up. The name of it is Ditch Start. I'm out of there. And click on that one. Um, ditch finish and so now we have all these waypoints that we found on Google Earth that we otherwise wouldn't even know that they were there um, unless you fished this area several times and marked them while you were there so now we got a little bit of grassy areas over here that have popped up on our fish finder that we have marked from Google Earth we got some ditches, we got some slopes, some transitions, and y'all, you can go on to your fish finder or you can go on to Google Earth and mark all kinds of things and label it and go through. And, uh, you know, this is an excellent tool for fishing new areas, areas you've never been before, uh, and, and then having those areas that you find on Google Earth readily available on your fish finder. You can set your waypoints and go straight to those areas. Um, and, and, and just get to fishing oyster beds, grass beds, deeper pockets, things like that. Y'all, I appreciate y'all tuning in. If this video was helpful, hit that like button. Comment with any questions. Subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see y'all next time.